Hello everyone, welcome to Down and Dirty. Today we're going to replace the valve and our power steering pump on a 2006 Duramax diesel. Um, trying to help out our pressure issues that we have for, with our power steering on these trucks. Uh, this pump is actually new. Um, also installed a new hydro boost and both have helped out. Uh, looking to get it a little bit better and just from reading around there's uh, been some recommendations to change this valve and at $32 off eBay, figured it, how can you go wrong? And uh, we'll see how this goes. So let's get to it. So here's our valve that we're going to replace. That's the part number. That 26095470 is a genuine GM part. Uh, this valve right here is uh, what we're going to swap out today. You remove the pressure line from the back of the pump and then remove the fitting that the line threads into. And this valve is behind it. So we're going to replace this valve and uh, see if it helps out our issues. Okay, so we got this hose on this syringe setup that I'm going to use to get the oil out of my reservoir first. So I'm just trying to suck all the oil out of the reservoir that we can. Make less of a mess, hopefully, in the long run. about three and a half syringes of oil but our reservoir is pretty close to empty I should probably go over a few steps on this of course you got to release the tension on your belt get your belt out of the way to remove the pump you take out these three bolts on this front bracket and then you have this rear bracket has a 10 millimeter bolt holding this uh, bracket on for your where you jump start your truck. And uh, well, I removed the top of the fan shroud. This top piece took it off. Um, I, I put a piece of uh, construction board, whatever in there to keep from hitting the fins with your ratchet. Because I take my ratchet and I actually stick it through the fan blades into the bolts with an extension on the bottom two, about half two. Um, easiest way anyway this top one you can do it with just a standard deep ball socket we also remove the fan shroud so use my half inch ratchet with an extension to uh, this is your tensioner right here because it fits in here it fits in here perfect with this top part of the fan shroud cover off and my extension six inch extension and it goes right in there to uh, release the tension off the belt and then here from the bottom I need a view on this I'll point an arrow at it, but uh, there's two bolts up there holding that bracket on that holds the pump in. And then you have this hose right here, this hose clamp. And I would suggest this bottom pressure line, taking the pump in and out, I find that to be much easier than trying to get your hands in here and wrench in here to tighten that up. Um, I would take it out, take it off up at the Hydro Boost while you have it off in the vise. <clears throat> it's much easier to deal with getting to this fitting down here on the bottom um, if you do it up in the vise rather than uh... so this is what I was talking about take it off here at the hydro boost that goes down to the back side of the pump take it off here instead of at the pump you can take this whole hose will come out with the pump I think it's much easier okay and then we also have this is a uh, our return on the back side of the pump our return hose that goes from the hydro boost back to the pump return line from the hydro boost going to the back of the pump Okay, I just removed the pressure line. Um, like I said, I removed the pump with all the lines on it. I put this clear line on where the return line is from the steering box. Um, before I pull it out, it keeps me from losing fluid out of there. It retains it in this hose, the same hose that I used on my syringe to suck all the fluid out of the reservoir. And then I, uh, I removed the high pressure line from this fitting. This fitting is what we got to take off next. The uh, 
pressure valve, pressure relief valve is underneath of this fitting. All right, careful unscrewing this. There's a spring in here and behind it, and keep pressure on it. Let's screw it at the same time. See that thing just wants to go shooting right on out of there. All right, now we gotta get that spool valve out of there. Here's a magnet. Right there's the original one. That's where we're going to put the replacement in. Let's put everything back together. Put pressure on that, get it go in, start threading. Let's put it in, tighten it back up. So now what I want to do, I want to fill that back up. So we have fluid around that, so we don't have air trapped. Make it easier to bleed the system. If you get air trapped, you won't be able to turn your steering wheel at all. It'll feel like a rock. All right, put the high pressure line back on. That's it, it's all ready to go back in. All right, jacked it up so the tires aren't touching the ground. They're just off the ground. I'm gonna turn the steering locked a lot several times here. Try to get air out of the system. Okay, so I did about 10 times each direction, and uh, that should uh, should help alleviate air in the system. It's something that you should always do anytime you take uh, your power steering system apart. So another tip is uh, this high pressure line goes to the hydro boost from the power steering pump. I did not connect that back on, or the return line that goes to the uh, power steering pump. I left both those disconnected while I filled the reservoir of the pump and before I put my belt back on and I just slowly turned my pulley after putting uh, fluid in it just to try to work any uh, any air out that might be in there as well because if you connect these lines before you put fluid in it you may trap a bunch of air in there and uh, end up with issues so I've actually had a problem before where I put a system together and didn't do any safeguards to try to keep from having air in the system and uh, didn't do the lock to lock before starting the motor and ended up with, uh, I started it up and had no steering. It was like a brick. It had air trapped. And then when I looked in the reservoir, my fluid level had actually gone up from where I had it initially. So that told me I had air trapped in the system. Okay, everyone, this concludes this video on uh, changing the power steering pump relief valve in the Duramax diesel. Um, actually been driving it for a week now. It did make improvements. I can tell a difference in pressure. I can feel it in the brake pedal. I can definitely tell it in the steering. But I did find out that when, uh, when backing up the trailer the other day, if I tried to turn the steering wheel fast while moving backwards slow and applying the brake, the steering would just stop and then continue again. So it's not like it's, it's definitely not like it was originally. 
Uh, I've been running the same tires on this truck for we're five, six years now, and it wasn't like this originally uh, with my toy hauler or anything else. I was always able to steer it easily. So I would say this pressure relief valve helped out. And uh, like I said, this has, a, it's a new pump, a new pump, not a remanufactured pump. It's a new Hydro Boost, not remanufactured either. I don't know what the next thing to try would be. I know replacing the steering box is what a lot of other people have done. Um, there are different boxes out there, different options. You may look at that next. So with a brand new Hydro Boost and brand new power steering pump, and now with this higher pressure relief valve, it is better than what it had been by far. It's, it's far, uh, far more drivable than what it had been, but it still isn't the same as what it originally was. All right, well, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and appreciate y'all. Take care.